Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. First of all, Happy New Year and hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. Now that we're back, I'm gonna to try to keep doing as many videos as possible. There hopefully will be at least one, uh, one each week. Uh, if not, then that's probably because I've been very busy with university work, but I've got a bit more free time. So hopefully I will be trying to do consistent videos for you guys every Saturday. But anyway, guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing an analytical piece that I did for SD Sports, who are a table tennis website. They asked me to write about the players I thought Team China would choose to represent their country at the Tokyo 2021 Olympic Games. Now, as this hasn't been revealed yet, uh, it's all sort of just my opinion. We can say with somewhat certainty who's going to be chosen for the men's singles events. It's the men's team event that's a bit more tricky to, to say. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be talking about it in this video. Uh, you can read the full article in the description below. I will pop the link there. Uh, if you don't want to read, you can just watch this video, it's absolutely fine. I do give a bit more sort of rationale in this video as to why I've chosen the players. And I think you'll find this and the analytical article go hand in hand. So I hope you enjoy it both. Please do like the video, comment, hit subscribe, and let's get right to it. Now then, so hopefully you've read the analytical piece I did. Um, so you probably already know my, my chosen list of players. So I want to start with the men's singles. Now, it probably didn't come as any surprise at all to who I chose. There's only two slots from what I believe. Uh, and honestly, there are only really two players, aren't there? I mean, uh, Ma Long and Fan Zhendong are the two top players at the moment. I know uh, Ma Long is only ranked number three in the world currently. Um, so maybe that's a slight surprise to you, but I do highlight some of my reasons in the article. Uh, I couldn't go completely in depth because obviously there's sort of a word count I had to stick to. But I think you can, if you, if you watch the tournaments, if you are up to date with all of the results that came in over November last year, you'll know that Marlon was completely dominant. I mean, he, apart from the Men's World Cup, he won the ITTF finals and the WTT Macau. And that's, that's pretty crazy. I mean, yes, he's number three in the world, but the number two, Xu Jin, didn't win any of them. So that is kind of a big advantage, in my opinion, for Ma Long over Xu Jin. But technically, yes, technically Xu Jin should be above Ma Long if you go technically by the rankings. If you were Xu Jin, You'd be thinking right now, okay, I'm number two in the world. Surely I'm going to be selected over Ma Long, perhaps. But I think the chances are that China is going to go on the results. China is going to be looking at uh, the results of the ITTF tournaments in November and say, okay, Zhu Jin actually didn't do too badly. He didn't get to a final, as in the actual final. He got to the quarterfinals and semifinals, I believe, of two of the events. I don't think he took part in the World Cup. I think only two players, and that was Ma Long and Van Zhendong. I think there's only two players by country. Uh, but the ITTF finals and WTT Macau, yeah, I think WTT Macau, Xu Jin got to the quarterfinals, and I believe he got to the semifinals of the ITTF finals. But unfortunately, he didn't make it to the final, um, and it was only Ma Long and Van Zhendong who made it to the ITTF finals, and obviously Macau was. Uh, Wang Chuchin and Ma Long. But it is interesting. Um, I, I do think that Zhu Jin isn't going to be selected for the men singles, unfortunately. And that is a bit annoying, I think, for many fans who love to watch Zhu Jin play, especially in the singles. I think it is going to be a bit of a uh, downcast moment for them. But if we all were being honest, the chances are that Ma Long is going to be selected. Um, Fan Jin Dong, to be fair, he only won one of the three tournaments. Uh, he didn't take part in WTT Macau for whatever reason. I believe he pulled out. Uh, so that is quite interesting. I don't know why. Um, all I know is I think that Wang Chu Chin took his place, as I write in the article, and actually showed off his, uh, his strength during that tournament, which is very interesting because Wang Chu Chin is a 20-year-old table tennis player from China. He's an upcoming player. And that's why I was I was I included him in the article. I, I wonder whether maybe he has some sort of uh, opportunity to maybe play for the men's team. But it's it's hard also to think that because 
He's not in the world top 10. He's currently ranked 14th, I believe, in the ITTF world rankings. Um, and because of that, uh, I don't think... I'd be very surprised to see him in the Olympic squad, to be honest with you. I don't think he's quite got enough behind his... You know, he hasn't got enough good results. He hasn't really got enough history as far as I'm concerned with uh, being selected. I think other players such as, you know, even taking Su, Su Jin, for example, I think he has so much more behind his belt than someone like Wang Chu Chin. You know, he has so much more experience. He has better results. Uh, he's just been around a lot longer, you know. Uh, that being said, Wang Chu Chin is a young player, you know. Maybe he's a player for the future for China. And that's why you... I, I'd be surprised if I saw him play, to be honest with you, I would be very surprised, but I could also understand why, if that makes sense, you know, I can understand why they would select him, because he is young, you know, he, he may be China's future top player, and you would want to try, try and, you know, nurture those young players to make them become the best they can possibly be. Um, so, yeah, but to be honest, as I said, I'd be very surprised to see him in the uh, most definitely in the main singles squad. I don't think he's going to be anywhere near the, the shot for that. But uh, I think team event, it's possible, but I think unlikely. So back to Van Zhendong, he did win one tournament. But although it's only, yeah, only one, I mean, it's still that's gigantic for you know, a table test player to win even one tournament. But he, that tournament was incredible. That, uh, if you watch my last video, you will see the last three points of that tournament, the World Cup final. It was Marlon and Van Jindong. That match for me was one of the best matches, personally, that I've ever witnessed. I mean, it was incredible. I mean, those, those fast counter exchanges going on in the match. For example, at like 10-7, the, the, if you watch the last video, you'll know from 10-7, there was this gigantic rally that happened. And, man, that was just the top level of table tennis in the world. I can't, I can't stress that enough. Uh, so... He does, he can boast about that, you know, he won arguably one of the best matches that we've seen for a very long time, if not ever. So, yeah, I, he does have, uh, you know, some weight behind him. And of course, perhaps even more importantly, he is the current world number one. So I'd be very, very surprised if China don't select him for the men's singles position. Um, I'm pretty sure Marlon is going to be there. And as I said, I'm very, I'd be very, very surprised if Van Zhendong wasn't also included. So, yeah, I think we can say with somewhat certainty that it's going to be probably Ma Long and Van Zhendong that are selected for the men's singles event in the Tokyo 2021 Olympic Games. But what is interesting is what happens if someone, you know, what happens if let's say Ma Long gets injured? I mean, we know that Ma Long's been injured in the past. You know, he's had, uh, I think he had a back injury. Um, and I think he was out for quite a while. Uh, anything's possible, you know. It's the, the Olympic Games is, I think, in uh, it's the summer this year, so <laughs> that's that's quite a while still, you know. We we just had New Year, you know. We're in January, so I, you have to have a contingency plan if you're the selection committee, and China will be. I'm sure they'll be thinking of this. They'll be trying their best not to get someone like Ma Long or Van Zhendong injured. But of course, they're going to be training, you know so hard to make sure that they are at the top of the game for the Olympic Games, you know, they're going to be putting all the hours in possible um, to try and make sure that they are at their best level. Uh, and that does put strain on the body. So you've got to be really careful. Um, so the question is, who do they choose as a reserve player? Well, that is a very interesting question. Uh, because remember, in the men's singles, there are only two slots available. And in the team event, I believe there are three slots. So if there are three slots, then they need an extra player for the team event. Um, so one would think that Marlon and Van Zhendong, because they are probably the most dominant players for China at the moment, or for that matter in the world as well, uh, they are likely to be picked for the team event as well. So um, yeah, it is interesting. Uh, who would be the third player? Now in my article, if you've already read it, you will know that I don't really say who's going to be the third player. And that's because, well, it's kind of up in the air. No one really knows who is the third best player at the moment. Now, I do mention Wang Chu Chin in the article. Now, do I think he's going to be in the team event? Probably not. 
Uh, I don't think he has, as I said earlier, I don't think he has enough uh, results. He hasn't really played enough. Um, and I think that most of the other players who are actually ranked higher than him and are in the world top 10 deserve probably more to be in the squad than him. However, he is young. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised even if he was sort of taken as like a um, sort of, yeah, again, again, as like a reserve player, but a reserve player for the team event. He's not going to be a reserve player for the men's singles, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought. He might be like a sparring partner, um, but I don't think he'll be anything more than sort of that. He definitely, I think, would, I'd be extremely surprised if he will play. Um, but again, I can understand why. I can understand why you'd pick him. So yeah, there is, there is that possibility. I would be surprised. Uh, because I think that one of the best options is either Xu Jin or Lin Guolian. Now, Xu Jin is the world number two and Lin Guolian is number four in the world. Uh, so they are both more or less practically equal, right? I mean, there's not much in it with, with that. Lin Guolian has played really well recently. Um, okay, it's, he hasn't reached a final as far as I know. Uh, but he he did get to the semi-finals. What is interesting is that Zhu Jin didn't do well in the two tournaments he played, in my opinion. Of course he did well. I mean, you know, he, he's one of the best players in the world. He, he, he is very, very good. <laughs> for him, for his world ranking at number two, if you're very critical, he didn't do well in, for example, the WTT Macau. Uh, he lost, I think, in the quarterfinals to the unseeded Matthias Falk. Now, of course, Falk is an incredible player, you know, that goes without saying. But the, it's important to realise that Xu Jin is the world number two. You know, Falk, by the rankings, shouldn't have beaten Xu Jin. Um, and therefore, that's not going to look good. It's not going to really reflect well on Xu Jin in his chances to represent China, um, in my opinion. That is interesting because does that go against his argument to be selected? Um, yes or no? I still think he has an outstanding, uh, you know, sort of uh, bragging right. You know, his look at his entire career. I mean, Zhu Jin, in my opinion, is literally one of the world's most talented table tennis players. I mean, he's called the cloud walker. He can, you know, literally <laughs> walk on clouds. Um, he can, he moves so fast around the court. He anticipates so, so well. He, know, he seems to know where all the balls are going. He can play these incredible, you know, around the net shots and he, he, he can do anything, really. He can do anything. Uh, he just didn't do as well, maybe as he had hoped in these last tournaments that happened in November. Does that, again, does that go against him? Do, you, do I think he's going to be selected? I would be very surprised if he wasn't. Very, very surprised, I think, because Yes, he didn't do well, but he has great experience, you know, and that maybe is something which Lin Gualian doesn't have. You know, Xu Jin has played in Olympic Games before. He's a great doubles partner. You can see that through his entire career. I mean, a left-handed penhold player, I think, is a, a very tricky opponent for any doubles uh, opponent. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think he is one of the best contenders for that position. Lin Guolian though is, is really good. I mean, you can see his performances recently. You can, you can tell that he's, you know, doing really well. I think he lost to Ma Long in the WTT Macau. You can't really blame him for not, not getting to the final of uh, these two tournaments which he participated in. As I say, he kind of, if he did better, almost in uh, Jin in these tournaments, uh, definitely equal to him. So yeah, uh, I, I think Ling Lian and Xu Jin are probably the best contenders. There is another player uh, who I did mention, and that's uh, Liang Jinkun. Now Liang Jinkun, he didn't play in those three tournaments last year. He didn't play once. He was at the ITTF uh, World Cup. Now he may have been at all the three, I didn't see him there on the, uh, the live streams, but I did see him on the live stream at the World Cup. So he was there for whatever reason, I guess he was a practice partner, um, but I would be very, very surprised if he was picked for the Olympic squad. Why am I surprised? He didn't play. Uh, he is lowest ranked 
out of those players who I've already mentioned, apart from Wang Chuchin, he's now currently ranked at ninth is uh, Liang Jinkun. So he's lured in Ling Guilian, Xu Jin, Fan Jindong and Ma Long. So that is kind of, I don't think he has enough behind him to give him a good chance of being in the squad. Uh, so this is, this is quite interesting. So we have a few players now. We have Xu Jin, probably Ling Guilian. I'd be very surprised if Liang Jukun was in the, 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 the title race, as it were, for the, the position. Um, I think it's going to be Xu Jin or Ling Guilian. Who would I pick? out of these two players for the final position. Probably Xu Jin. I think Lin Guilian, although he did seem to be quite consistent in the two tournaments, he, I don't think really he's been unbelievably consistent throughout his career. You know, I think that Lin Guilian doesn't have as good results as Xu Jin in terms of consistency. And that's quite important because obviously at the Olympic Games, you only have one shot, right? Um, you lose a match, you lose a match in the world's, arguably the world's most important event. You know, you don't want to be losing if you are China. So, yeah, I would be quite surprised if Ling Guilian was picked instead of Xu Jin. But again, Ling Guilian is younger um, and they might want to field him instead of Xu Jin. That's quite possible. But again, I don't think he will be. I think Xu Jin has more experience. Uh, I think he is a terrific doubles player and singles player, uh, and I think he, he has more chance of being selected personally. But we'll see. I don't know. It's, it's, it's completely up in the air. It's quite possible they'll choose Ling Guilian, and it's quite also possible they'll just choose someone I don't even know. <laughs> you know, this is the third player is, is up in the air. It's quite possible they'll also pick a reserve player to come along with the, the other uh, team. So I can't say with certainty he's going to be there. I don't think anyone can. Um, but I have a good idea that it's going to be Fan Jindong and Marlong for the singles event. And then for the team event, it's probably going to be Marlong, Xu Jin and Fan Jindong. Uh, but as I said, it could be Ling Guilian. Um, the other two or three players, I don't think they will probably be selected, but anything's possible. As always guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you do love it, please do hit that big red subscribe button, leave a thumbs up, and do share this video with all your coaches and friends. Happy New Year everyone.